In this tutorial, we're going to talk about gallery mode and how to push an experience to your user app. So first thing we need is a journey. So let's go to our journey tab. We don't have a journey yet, so let's go ahead and make one. We're gonna click on create a new journey. We're gonna give this journey a name and we're gonna give it a description. The description is really just meant to help us recall what this journey is and differentiate it from others. So now that we're creating it, we've got a nice new blank journey. So since we don't have any experiences yet, we can't put anything in the journey. And effectively, what a journey is, is just a playlist of experiences. So let's go ahead and make an experience. So when we go to our experience tab, we don't have any yet. So we're gonna jump to our gallery mode. And in the gallery mode, we're actually gonna duplicate one. Let's go ahead and duplicate the, the bottom right example. You can see here you have lots of examples to start from. And then once you duplicate them, we're gonna name it whatever we wanna name it. And then we can actually edit it and customize it for our needs. And now that it's created, we're gonna open it. And boom, we have our very first experience. We have the layer effect, the silhouette reflection effect, and the plasmic colors. You can see the background we have in the layer effect. And now that we have this, I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And now we're gonna jump back to the journey. And we're gonna put that experience as an experience inside our journey. So with this journey, actually the very first thing you wanna do is assign it to an installation. And we click on this box, we get all of our installations and we just assigned it to our user tutorial installation. We're gonna add our experience. You can see it shows up right there in the drop down menu. And you get to set how long you want the experience to play before we jump to the next one. We're gonna leave it at the 100 second default and add the experience and boom. You see the experience shows in our playlist of experiences. Now remember the Zuzer app is playing the default experience. So now we're gonna push this experience and this journey to our app by clicking that little airplane. And you'll see it says download started and boop, already download complete, okay? And now you see our Zuzer authoring app is actually updated and it's showing that new experience. And again, if you wanna fade out the watermark, just press D to make it disappear. So great, now we copied an experience in, but now let's talk about how we can customize it. So we're gonna go back and change it. So going back to our journey page, we're gonna open this experience, press on it and click the open button. And that opens up our experience. Let's go ahead and edit it. So we're gonna click view effect on our layer effect. And now we're actually looking inside that layer effect. So let's add an image to the front layer. Um, let's change the back video a little bit. So we'll make it slightly transparent. And you can do that by changing the opacity value. Here we'll change it to 70%. And below we can actually control the background colors. So we're not gonna set the colors. We're just gonna click randomize. And actually let's have it change colors. There you go. So we're gonna have it change colors. And let's save that effect. You see effect saved. But let's also add a, a front image. So we're gonna click choose image, scrolling down. Let's use that snowflake image and click open. And now we need to click set image. And right there you see that little preview of the snow cone and you know that that image was successfully updated. We're gonna go ahead and click save and effect save. Now let's go ahead and push our experience one more time. So going through the journey, we're gonna click push propagating changes and you can see now it says download started. That's how you know it received the request. And up next, whenever it says download complete, we're actually gonna see that update. So we'll give it a sec to download. And you see it says download complete and there you go. Now the snowflake shows up. And again, we're gonna press D just to make the watermark disappear. And that's it, you've officially downloaded a new experience and actually customize your own experience. Good job.